So 75 years ago, the Allies launched D-Day and there was a huge amount of jeopardy involved. There were so many things that could go wrong. You know, back in England, there was millions of troops, hundreds of thousands of trucks, tanks, guns, all the war material you could possibly want, an overwhelming amount, so much more than the Germans could ever, ever manage themselves. The difficulty, though, is actually getting it across the English Channel because there is a limit, they're limited by the amount of shipping they've got about how much they can get across at any one time. And really, D-Day is about, the jeopardy is making sure they get that foothold on the French coastline in Normandy before the Germans could build up enough um, forces of their own to push them back into the sea. So the moment D-Day is launched, the race is on. And as we all know, the Allies pulled it off. They secured the flanks, they linked up pretty quickly. They managed to land a staggering 155,000 men, both from drop them from the air and deliver them by landing craft. Uh, they managed to kind of neutralize a lot of the, the German forces. Um, and ensured that the German resupplies, the reinforcements, couldn't get to the Normandy bridgehead anytime soon. And that was largely thanks to air power. But there was much that could go wrong, lots of, lots of jeopardy involved. And it was a testimony to amazing intelligence, the build-up of resources, the overall plan, and the way the logistics were carried out, that logistic effort that enabled them to prevail and be successful. Once they got that foothold, then the outcome was never in doubt. It was just a question of how long and what form it would take. But you have to understand that the Allies won because they were better at, at, at fighting a war by that stage on literally every single level. My new book um, looks at a lot of this stuff. It kind of dismisses a lot of the very entrenched myths that are built up around D-Day and the Normandy campaign. Um, it throws light on a whole load of things which haven't really been considered before. And it's soon going to be available in Waterstones from the beginning of May in a special edition just for Waterstones customers. Um, and a very handsome edition it's going to be too. And I hope you'll all rush out and get it and enjoy it. Thank you.